Okay, we are going to start embryology discussions uh, by learning about gametogenesis. Why gametogenesis? Embryology studies begin from fertilization onwards. So before that, we need to know how gametes are produced. So we will first have a general discussion about gametogenesis. Then we will have separate discussions on spermatogenesis and oogenesis. Okay. So what is the definition of gametogenesis? It is a long series of changes. It is a, it is a process, okay? series of changes in which the male and female sex cells are converted genet into genetically and phenotypically different mature gametes, which is capable of participating in fertilization. Okay, So two words I need to focus here is genetically and phenotypically different. So the structure differs also it is genetically different so you have some parent germ cells that germ cells will differentiate into functioning gametes and these gametes are genetically and uh, phenotypically different from these parent germ cells that enables these gametes to perform in the uh, process of fertilization uh, resulting in a zygote from where our study of proper embryology begins to understand gametogenesis and especially to understand the genetic limb, we need to have a look at cell division. Okay. There are two types of cell division as you all know. One is mitosis. What is mitosis? Mitosis is the uh, cell division that occurs in all of the cells except the sex cells. Okay, Except the cells that are destined to be gametes. What occurs in mitosis? You have 46 chromosomes in the parent cell. It divides into two cells. Okay, and after mitosis, the, uh, you have two daughter cells which has 46 chromosomes each. And these cells are genetically identical to the parent cell. Okay, so it is, they are basically clones of the parent cell. So that is the idea that you need to have of mitosis because the products should not be genetically different. That is the same as that of the parent. Okay, that is the idea of mitosis. How does this 46 chromosomes retain in the product? To understand that, you need to have a look at the cell cycle. Okay, this is a cell cycle. In the cell cycle, you can see that uh, this is mitosis and this entire part between mitosis and the next mitosis is called the interface. So a cell basically runs through this cycle. It undergoes a mitotic division. The products goes through the interface, again undergoes mitotic. So generally, all our body cells undergoes repeated uh, cycles of mitosis, interface, mitosis, interface. So within the interface, you can see an S phase. S phase is a synthetic phase in which the chromosomes will replicate. This is very, very important. Okay. So suppose you have four, one cell contains a nucleus and the nucleus contains 46 chromosomes, 46 DNA. You basically have 46 DNA uh, strands and those DNA strands are wound into chromosomes. So you have 46 chromosomes in the nucleus of a single cell. And you take one chromosome, after the S phase, that chromosome will replicate itself and that will arrange like this. So this is one chromosome. It will replicate itself and it will arrange like this. It will be adhered together at a centromere. So this formation is called a dyad. That is what you are seeing here. Uh, in, in this uh, image, in this cell uh, picture, you can see a red uh, chromosome and a blue chromosome. But after the S phase, you can see the red is now in an X pattern. The blue is also in an X pattern. That pattern is called a dyad. Why that dyad occurs? The dyad is just because the DNA has replicated. But it is not separated. It is uh, anchored together at the centromere. Okay. So it remains as a... So the, the point you need to know is that the chromosome number is not increased. Here it is two chromosomes. Here also it is two chromosomes. It is just that the DNA is replicated. So you have double content of DNA. But they are anchored together at the centromere. That is a point that you need to understand here. So it is just the same number of chromosomes here. This dyads are separated in the mitosis, mitosis process. In the mitosis, the dyads are separated to each other. So again, the product will have the same number of chromosomes. So the S phase uh, doubles the DNA. In the mitosis, the doubled content DNA is separated into uh, two product daughter cells. Okay, so that is what occurs in mitosis. What occurs in meiosis? In meiosis, you have it begins for, with 46 chromosomes and the 46 chromosomes is divided into two daughter cells with 23 chromosomes each okay and this 23 chromosomes is again split that daughter cells is also again divided into four daughter cells and four of them are also 23 
uh, chromosomes each. So, the actual reduction division occurs in the meiosis 1 and this meiosis 2, meiosis contains two phases, the meiosis 2 is similar to mitosis. Why it is similar to mitosis? Because mitosis is basically the separation of the dyads. You have two sister chromat chromatids, when the two sister chromatids separates, it is called mitosis. So, that is what is occurring here. Then what is occurring in meiosis 1? In meiosis 1, the 46 chromo from the 46 chromosomes, 23 chromosomes are separated. The meiosis 1 is slightly more complicated. So, let, it, let us look into more details of that before going into gametogenesis proper. So, this is showing the mitosis on this limb and meiosis on this limb. Let us focus first on the mitosis. The chromosome, if I zoom in, you can see the chromosomes are already replicated. You can't see the chromosomes here. It is chromatin. It is shown as chromatin. But this chromosomes is in the uh, prophase phase. You can see that uh, representatively, you can see two blue chromosomes and two red chromosomes. And you can see that they are in the dyad stage. Okay. And in the metaphase, they are arranged in the metaphase plate and then the dyads are separated. That is what the most significant thing that is occurring in the mitosis is the separation of the dyads. And so, in the daughter uh, cells, you have four chromosomes each, which is the same situation as that of the parent. The parent had four chromosomes, but they were dyads. Now, they, the DNA content is halved. The normal DNA content is maintained here in the product and they have four chromosomes each. Let us look what happens in the meiosis. In meiosis, this is a starting cell, already the chromosomes are replicated, that is very important. So, the, the chromosomes are again in the dyad stage, but the homologous chromosomes are arranged uh, near to each other. So, one dyad is arranged next to another dyad and the non-sister chromatids, sister chromatids are these ones are sister chromatids, but the non-sister chromatids exchange genetic material and that is called a crossing over, also called a synapsis. So, after synapsis, you can see that the genetic material is different. If you carefully look at this picture, you can see that the blue chromosome is not completely painted blue. The tips are exchanged with the red chromosome. So, there is an exchange of genetic material between the homologous chromosomes, between the non-sister chromatids. Result of this is that the product of meiosis 1 is genetically different from that of the parent. This is not the situation of mitosis. Okay, so after this, the chromosomes are separated. So, if you have four chromosomes here, here the products contains only two chromosomes in one daughter cell. Okay, the chromosome number is half. That is also very important. So, why, why can't you stop with that? Why, why do you need a meiosis 2? Because the chromosomes are still in the dyad stage. So, you need, you need to separate that dyad stage into uh, the normal content DNA. That occurs by meiosis 2 which is which is actually similar to that of the mitosis so the, the only difference here is that the chromosomes are already genetically altered by the crossing over that occurs in meiosis 1 okay so that di dyads are separated again by the same process the centromere is cut and the two uh, sister chromatids are separated so you have four genetically altered cells as the product of meiosis 1 and 2 so, this is the basic difference. This is what makes the genetic alteration in the uh, gametogenesis, in the definition of gametogenesis. So, that's why I just uh, briefly mentioned about mitosis and meiosis.